simply mindful, not mindful. It's very important as a beginner that you understand right from the start that meditation is about befriending your thinking, about holding it gently in awareness, no matter what is on your mind in a particular moment. It is not about shutting off your thoughts or changing them in any way. Mindfulness for Beginners by Dr. Kabat-Zinn Rest and relaxation are essential for contentment, happiness, and gratitude. Taking a simple 5 to 30 minutes a day for a time-out relaxation can have many benefits. Taking these small meditation breaks helps a whole lot with chronic pain, memory, attention and intention control, and remaining calm and clear-headed through the day. Meditation can be an attention diversion from our own personal pains. It helps increase enjoyment and positive well-being. It decreases depression. And it is a great way for us to have a respite from our daily frustrations and worries. Mindfulness meditation teaches you to recognize memories and damaging thoughts as they arise. It reminds you that they are memories. They are like propaganda. They are not real. They are not you. You can learn to observe negative thoughts as they arise. Let them stay a while and then simply watch them evaporate before your eyes. And when this occurs, an extraordinary thing can happen. A profound sense of happiness and peace fills the void. Mindfulness by Mark Williams and Danny Penman. Meditation can help reduce muscle tension coming from the pain itself or from emotional stress which often increases pain. These short relaxation exercises have us direct our attention to pleasant sensations, thoughts, and images. We still may feel our individual pains to some extent, but while we are engaging in a meditation break, our attention is less on the pain and more on our slow breaths, and when our attention wanders, we can gently tell her mind to come back to the present moment. Hatred never ceases by hatred. It only ceases by love. Mindfulness. A Practical Guide to Awakening by Joseph Goldstein. Meditation also increase our awareness of our physical tensions and negative thought. Many of us are tense and stressed and we've become so accustomed to the ever-present anxiety levels of modern life that we barely notice them anymore. Stress and anxiety are usually not needed all the time so these automatic responses have become problematic when it comes to our well-being and long-term peace and contentment. More alarming than this, overthinking can completely warp your perception of events in time, shaping your personality in ways that mean you are more risk-averse, more negatively focused and less resilient. When you're constantly tuned into Stress FM, you are not actually consciously aware and available in the present moment to experience life as it is. You miss out on countless potential feelings of joy, gratitude, connection, and creativity because of your relentless focus on what could go wrong or what has gone wrong. Stop Overthinking by Nick Trenton We can't fix problems that we are unaware of until we take a good look at the problems one by one and make conscious decisions to change our harmful habits that create our problems. By practicing meditation and experiencing what it feels like to really let go and become deeply relaxed, we learn how to become more aware of our own individual subtle signs of our physical and mental states. We will find that many negative and distorted thoughts are automatic and easily bogard our mental real estate. Mindfulness may be more completely understood as being present with clarity, wisdom, and kindness. Practicing Mindfulness by Matthew Sokolov Mindfulness is extremely valuable in order to increase our awareness of physical sensations and negative thoughts. It is good to be mindful, not mindful. By becoming more aware of our bodies and mental activity throughout the day, we can learn to see the signs of stress and tension as cues and reminders to take a quick meditation break. Meditation also helps with sleep, and it can change our personal perceptions and offer a new perspective about our own personal suffering. When we change our negative emotions and thoughts to positive emotions and thoughts our individual pains aren't so intense and they become tolerable. It is also good to sit with the suffering for a while and just experience it fully. It is exhausting to be in chronic pain and suffering, but it is that much more exhausting with negative thoughts and emotions dragging us down, making us heavy. To remain healthy and alive, our bodies need outside time, rest, nutrients, water, and air. These five things should be at the very top of our priority list. The question of what you want to own is actually the question of how you want to live your life. The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo Some of us forget the importance of taking good care of our minds and our bodies and it begins to show in our health. One of the most important actions we must take on a continual basis, otherwise we will die, is breathing. 
We breathe so much that many of us don't even realize we are doing it all the time. Our breathing can become quick and shallow, even stop for a little while as our daily stresses present themselves. This is extremely unhealthy for our bodies and minds. Taking deep slow breaths is a good way to center ourselves again and make sure that our cells are getting the proper amount of oxygen so they can do their job at an optimum level. Breathing slowly and deeply activates our parasympathetic nervous system, helping us to rest, relax, rejuvenate, and helping our bodies detoxify. When we breathe deeply, we don't change the volume of the air going into our lungs, but we slow our breath down. We change the conscious direction of airflow gently, slightly displacing our upper abdomen, and we breathe slowly naturally and not regimented. As we get conscious control of our breathing again, we naturally begin to relax and feel centered. The world, as our senses perceive it, becomes a little clearer and less chaotic. We can choose to breathe in positivity and out negativity. Too many of us are waiting for our lives to begin, putting our happiness on layaway for some future version where it all lines up, when we've accomplished it all, when we have the perfect career, bodies, partners, and when our lives finally feel good enough. But what is good enough? Radically Content by Jamie Varon. Right now, let's breathe in light and out the heaviness. We are again in the driver's seat and can choose how we react to our environment in the moment. We are here and now again. We are balanced and know that peace, calm, love, and serenity is our natural state of being. 